Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair. If you happen to be looking at your calendar this week and thinking, holy smoke, where is a year going? Well, I promise you, you're not alone. It's truly hard to believe the year is now halfway over. It feels like just yesterday that we were ushering in the new year, and now we're just six short months away from saying goodbye to it. Now, I always know when the third quarter is approaching because my inbox gets inundated with the same question. What should I be doing differently in order to crush my third quarter goals? And my reply is always the same. You see, the things you need to do to crush your third quarter goals are the exact same things you should have been doing in the first and in the second quarter. And what exactly are those things you might be asking? Well, you need to be starting each day with a plan. You need to be enforcing deadlines. You need to be going the extra mile. Each day, you need to be taking massive action, demonstrating discipline, persevering through obstacles, focusing on your highest priorities, following up and following through, and most importantly, by kicking ass and taking names. So here's the deal. We're all staring down the barrel of the same reality. The third quarter is rapidly approaching or it is already getting started. The big difference now is that you have less time to hit your sales quota, to close any gaps, to redeem yourself, and to finish what you started at the beginning of this year. Now, aside from any anxiety you might be feeling right about now, there's an upside to the first half of the year coming to a close. You see, it's a significant milestone. It's an important period of the year that allows you to reflect upon your year-to-date results and to determine what adjustments need to be made. You see, your results are everything, so let me break this down for you. Your results are a reflection of your self-esteem. They demonstrate what you believe to be true about yourself and what you're truly capable of achieving. Your results also showcase to the world the depth of your intellect, your creativity, and your passion. Your results scream volumes as to your ability to solve problems or to perpetuate pain. Your results also tell the world how you talk about yourself, even when no one's around. Your results inform everyone who's watching what you do or do not do every single day. And your results are the natural consequence of your behavior. And most importantly, behavior never lies. See, everyone delivers results regardless of the nature of their actions. Some are positive, some not so positive. A bank robber delivers results, as does a bank teller. A person who refuses to work and goes on welfare also gets results, as does the entrepreneur who works to provide stable employment opportunities for others. The pastor at your wedding delivered results, as did the attorney who presided over your divorce. This point is worth repeating. Everyone is responsible for delivering results, so let's talk about yours. The year is now 50% complete, and your year-to-date results are now in the history book. And if you had ambitions of making $250,000 this year, and you should have $125,000 in the bag right about now, and if you set a goal of paying down $20,000 in high-interest debt, then you should be $10,000 lighter by now. And if you set a goal of losing 40 pounds and looking fit for summer, then you should have dropped 20 pounds and looking pretty sweet to Speedo right about now. So are you on track with any of your goals or resolutions? Have you surpassed your expectations? Or are you even close? Now let's be frank. There's only one reason for underperformance, and that is, it's your own fault. Your year-to-date results are not dependent upon your background, your company, your spouse, the economy, or the latest bestseller on the self-help charts. Your results are dependent upon one thing, that is you and your ability to deliver. And right now, at 180 days into the year, you've not delivered what you anticipated. Which means it's time to shine a flashlight to your soul to acknowledge that your existing habits, routines, and strategies are not getting the job done. You must wake up to the fact that if you continue along this line of behavior, that you'll continue to fall further and further behind your target. So your year-to-date results speak for themselves. You've had 180 days to perform, to drive results, and to show the world just how good you are. I'd like you to answer this question. If you've gotten this far in the year and can acknowledge that your results are not worth bragging about and know that you're capable of so much more, what are you going to do differently in order to redeem yourself and to ensure better results in the third quarter? You see, it's delusional to think you can keep on doing the things just as you've been doing and the results will somehow turn around and miraculously improve. They can't and they won't. So the solution is simple. You must challenge yourself to upgrade your execution skills. The third quarter is about to begin, and you're just moments away from making a critical decision that will make or break the rest of your year. So you'll choose to discount this message and continue to reinforce the non-productive patterns, 
habits, and behaviors, which will result in the same subpar performance. Or you will make the decision to upgrade your execution strategies and to start crushing your goals. It will be my honor to show you how. So just head on over to the 100-Day Challenge at 100daychallenge.com and see why over 750,000 people and organizations use this high-performance, rapid acceleration program in order to get more accomplished in 100 days than most people do over the course of 10 years and make it the very next thing you do.